The other day, I made a poll for us so we can decide to make an ice cream together. Well, actually, it was a couple of polls. So you guys chose the ice cream to be sweet cream ice cream. So we're going to take our spades and make a point with them. We're going to push that down into the ice cream and then pull towards you, flip it over, and do the same thing. That's going to make a ball for you. This ice cream is super frozen because I just got out of the freezer, and so it's extra hard. So it takes a few extra steps of rounding it out so it doesn't fall apart when we throw it in the air. Then we're going to go ahead and take that, and we're going to throw it a few times. You don't have to do this for your first time, but if you have some experience, you can play around and have fun with it. But then you can just practice, have fun, throw some ice cream, and then we're going to chop that down under the stone a little bit, tuck our spades under the side, and then you guys wanted fudge, so we're going to squirt a figure eight of fudge, and then one scoop of chocolate chips, because you guys chose chocolate chips, and then you guys chose cookie dough. So then we're going to put our cookie dough on top, and then I take my left spade so the cookie doesn't fall, and I hold the cookie dough there, and then I take my right spade and chop it all up. And once our cookie dough is chopped down to some fine pieces, we're gonna go ahead and begin to chop, chop, fold, fold. So we chopped it up, I fold that over, and I'm gonna chop it down again, and then we're gonna go ahead and fold that over, and then I chop it just one more time to make sure the cookie dough's in there, and now we're gonna hug it into a ball. Make sure you get your spades underneath the bottom of it so you make it an actual ball and not just a little dome on top. And then I get my spades all nice and clean so we can get it up and then throw our it. Our next step is to get the ice cream onto our right spade. And then you put your left spade away, grab a cup with your left hand, and then you're gonna go pop your ice cream into it. Or you can throw it in there. And then you're gonna take your right spade, put that away, then grab your scraper, clean off your spot, put the scraper away, then grab a spoon, put it, the ice cream in it, and then give it to the customer. Then you're all set. If you're left-handed, you can go ahead and just do all of that, but do it with the opposite hand, so it'll make it a little easier. You guys commonly question what is on the stone. Well, the stone, since it is cold, it collects moisture in the air, and that moisture in there freezes in the form of frost. So sometimes there's quite a thick layer of frost. The frost can be a problem though because it helps the ice cream not stick to the stone. So we wanna clean it off so we have a clean spot to put our ice cream down. Let's see how much you remember. So we're gonna take our spades, put them down in a point, and then pull them towards us, flip it over, and then put it in a point and do the same thing. Whenever you're starting out, it's always okay to practice a lot. So just trial and error, trial and error. If your spades start to get sticky, you can go clean them off in the water. And then once they get all clean, go ahead and take them over to the ice cream and try all over again. The more you practice, the more you'll understand that every flavor has a different consistency. And then every position in the ghia, which is the thing that holds all the ice cream, has a different consistency. So if something's closer to the edge, normally it's going to be a little softer. If something is closer to the middle, it's usually going to be a little harder. And then chocolate is always the hardest flavor. If a flavor is harder, I normally chop it down when I put it on the stone. If a flavor is softer, I normally just smush it down. This one was softer, so I smushed it down. Then we put one spoonful of almonds in it and then one Oreo in it. You may not have noticed, but in the last ice cream, we did one of each kind of topping. And so the first kind is sauces. Those go first, and we did a figure eight of the fudge. And then after that, it goes to the crumbly toppings. And so that was our chocolate chips. And then after the chocolate chips, it goes our big topping, which happened to be cookie dough. And then that's the one that gets chopped up. You can always put them in the ice cream out of order, but I promise you it'll make your life a lot harder and a lot messier. So just do it the way that we're supposed to do it. And don't worry about throwing. It took me six years to even try it, but I would pressure you just at 